Welcome back to another video for Complete Angler Nedlands on YouTube. This video will be all about chasing snapper in shallow on sunrise, sunset, anchor and burley, float lining, unweighted baits, lightly weighted baits and soft plastics. So I'll take you through the process of chasing this very popular inshore species um, and that includes how we set up and how we fish for them. So stay tuned and hope you guys learn something. And just a side note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. This is definitely something we'll be doing a lot more of. It's a really easy, accessible option for a lot of Perth fishos. So yeah, let us know in the comments as well what kind of fishing you'd like to see us do and we'll try and do it for you. So I've got two rods rigged up here, ready to go for tomorrow's inshore session. This one here is a P2 Ocean's Legacy Cloud 9. Great soft plastics rod. And we've got a twin power Shimano Twin Power XD4000 to match up to it there nicely. A bit of P2 line, 40 pound leader, joined with an FG knot. Got an Ocean's Legacy Access Swivel there for quick and easy changing of jig heads. So ideally we want to keep our baits mid-water, baits and soft plastics in mid-water, because most of the time pinkies won't necessarily sit straight on the bottom. They'll be mid-water, particularly during bite times, hunting around, and, um, and if they see the silhouette above them, We'll come and crash it. So that's the soft plastic setup we've got. Onto the bait setup. Got a Shimano Twin Power SW6000. Matched to a P2 to 4 rod, about six foot in length. There's plenty of rods that will do this job. And we've got a double snell there. There's no sinker, just up to a swivel. But the 40 pound leader again, tied with an FG knot and just a double snell. That allows us to present a wide range of bait. Here's the bait we'll be using. Some good sized scaly mackerel, it's a two kilo block of them. Should be enough for a session, and if not, we do have soft plastics, but they're the perfect snapper bait. Herring's also another good one, squid, um, pretty much anything. They're a bit of a gobble guts, those things. So in regards to burley, which is a pretty important part of this whole process, we've got a burley cage right here that we'll actually put a bit of leftover chicken in, have that sitting next to the boat or just below the surface, just under the boat. Pretty much keeping that oil slick constant which is, is pretty crucial keeping the burley trail constant and then we'll also be chucking in some bits and pieces of crushed muleys and um, I'll show you actually the mix that I make up so halfway through the process here um, we've got two two kilo burley logs and then I'm going to beef it out with some chook pellets get add some water get it to the right consistency and I'll be feeding this overboard and using a trowel or you can use any kind of scooping implement just Chuck it overboard to so every two to five minutes. It's good to add a scoop of this kind of stuff when it's mixed together. I'll show you what that looks like at the end. Yeah, that'll help keep your burly slick nice and continuous. So mixing some chip pellets in. Beef up that burly a little bit. Give it a bit more substance, make it last longer. And also allow it to sink to the bottom. It's where you want your burly. You don't want it floating off and attracting the fish elsewhere. Here is the other piece to the snapper puzzle. This is why I've chosen tomorrow morning as a time. Got nice light wind, so it'll be nice and manageable hopefully on the water, but we've still got some swell around, which is good, always good for pinkies. But if you go back here, we just had this big old blow, for pretty much two days, so that water should be really stirred up. Fish should be inshore, theoretically, and um, yeah, hopefully we'll smash it. Also, here's the reason I chose to go on sunrise rather than sunset. Tomorrow morning will be Sunday morning and we've got a rising tide all the way through the morning past sunrise and a high tide at around nine o'clock. There's a pretty good chance of some good action right from as soon as we get on the water to that high tide and even hopefully beyond it. Come across some good looking uh, bottom, some good looking fish just popped up on the sound of there and we're pretty close to where we want to be. So, what I'll do is just position. I'm, I'm first of all checking the way we're drifting so that we can set the anchor in the right place. But um, so far, it's looking like there's a bit of activity around here. So, triple fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for the triple. Baby, a triple. Yeah, no Let's go. So, we're just sitting on top of the lump here and I'm slowly backing away from where we are here. But yeah, so we want to sit on the structure drift off the structure um, just over the back edge so we're sitting on anchor basically on the drop off and then burling over into the open kind of deeper areas because that's generally where you find the fish you see a few coming through on the sounder there now which is always a good sign there's a bit of a red in that that's what you want to see a bit of red 
It's red a bit of, bit of activity. Red and dead, mate. If it's red on the sound, it's definitely dead. It's dead, mate. It's dead. Just slightly loaded with fish here. Um, already a bit of uh, activity going on. So, first thing to do is kill the motor and get fishing. Get burling actually, which is the priority. Let's get fishing. If you're pinky fishing and you don't know what these are, then you're not doing it right. These are coconut ice. I don't know what they are. Z-Man jerk shads, mate. Look at that. Already got a quarter ounce jig head on here. Already pre rigged ready to go, and I'm, I'm just gonna do that up. Little five inch jobby. How's that, mate, doing that when. when Feeding it on straight through the head there. At one in the morning. Keeping yeah, it straight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm pull that right over the keeper. Baby. What do you reckon, mate? Um, we just got a, a bit of an on situation. Um, we've been here five minutes. Yeah, so I had to make the call. Yeah, Sammy's made the call. The bite's been uh, fish on, been found, and um, looks like we got a little snap of the way this is fighting. Good head knocks. Exactly yeah. what you want to see. No, mine's just right down here. Uh, oh, could be illegal. Nice pan size snapper there. Oh, panny. Pan size of the best. Bro. Oh, he might go actually. We'll see, we'll see. T's definitely size, mate. That 50 size. is legal. That size. Yes. 54. So cool. we'll take him. Good start Jeez. to the morning. How's the head on it? Fish looks good too. No, nah, good start, good start. So, yeah, bait's out, unweighted, newly. Oh, it's scaly. Chucked it way out the back there. Let out a bit of line, closed the bail arm, and um, Bob's your uncle, Jan's your nan. There you go. So, boys, just a little explanation. Got the reef over here. So what we're doing, we're just, we're just drifting off the back. So we're just, all the fish, we're gonna bring them off the reef. Yeah. And it's gonna be quiet. Just nice to bring them in. Yeah. Uh, off the reef. Yeah. Get him out here, get him in deep. This kid. Mate. This kid. What's going on? Nothing. Oh. Actually, hasn't even He's got the scaly though. Oh, little, little. Well baited, so he can send that out there again. So very quickly, the boys have gone from all plastics to bait. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, well, I might put a plastic rod out. I was just too busy winding in that yeah. fish there to, to put a plastic rod out. It's just, why? Why bother? We've already made a bit of a mess of the side of the boat here, but it's for a good reason. That's burly. Bit of that good stuff. Get it in there. Bit of this stuff. See that? Want that in there. Got a nice slick going out that way. It's looking good. Brody slick. Old man fishing, that's fine. That's yeah, you're taking up the chair. You're going to get pulled out of that chair in a second, mate. Yeah, I will. Doubles. Oh, I think it's cool. No, it's no you're definitely on. Yeah, that same fish, maybe. Can we, are we going to get triples or? Oh, you got a, oh, baby pinky. Oh, I've got, I've got. You got a bigger else. one, mate. You got something else for sure. Yours is good. Mine's a good fish. Hold on. He's doing a lap. He's going into the open, which is what you want. Here we go. It's not a pinky, I don't remember. Nuts, uh, gummy or something? Pink? Whiskery. Whiskery shark. Yeah. Something different. That'll do it. I called it. He's definitely going in the back there while he's misbehaving. <laughs> he's on the timeout. I don't really need the fillets. They're as good as a gummy shark, but... Here we go, yeah. doubles. <laughs> <laughs> Little whiskery shark, or oh, he stings, he smells like ammonia. I do not want him. Did you just bite me off? It's right there. Did you just bite me Does he have teeth to bite? Oh, he does too. Naughty boy. Oh, where's it? He's stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Great release, mate. Yeah. Boy, this... Top class, top class. First good run. Large, large. Alright, I'm gonna have to wind this shit in. Oh shit, you want me to wind in? Nah, it's all good. Just as we were thinking, there's no fish, mate. Yeah, who wants to net it? He's got a line in his teeth, I don't like it. 
What, you got the, what, what he found? Oh, mate. Or it's Raptor. Yeah, and that would be under everything. It's definitely a pinky. Yeah, it's, you'll be able to see colour now, eh? Doing the nods. It's gonna be like an 80. Oh, there we are. Yeah, there we are. That's There's a pinky. Yeah, Horse pinky head. Nice. Oh, that oh. is a nice fish. Don't need to catch anyway, but he's in. That's right. That is, please. Nice fish, mate. Very nice fish, actually. Oh, yeah? We'll take that. That's, um, large. I don't think he swallowed it. That's, um, quite large. That's about right. Damn. There we go. Nice fish, mate. Cheers, mate. I bagged out. What are you guys doing? Yeah, well, I bagged out your fish, mate. Thank you. That's a good fish. That's coming home with me. <laughs> I reckon there should be, like, a, a scale for, like, good-looking pinkies. Like, what you base it off. Does that one look good? It's a good-looking pinky. That's a good-looking yeah. pinky. Nice ah, colour. Right, you crunchy bastard. Good head, I reckon. You good want a head? bit. You want a bit of. You want a bit of ugly on the head. Of, want a bit of that? Sometimes a bit of ugly is beautiful. That's a good, good. Yeah, good I reckon it's a good snap. Well, yeah, that's that's the kind of pinky you come out here for. Just an unweighted scaly cast way out the back of the burly trail there, keeping a constant burly trail on the right spot with burling off the side of a lump, and that's the results. Sammy, mate, film yourself. Let's go. He's chuckling. He's a uh, he's a happy boy. Come on. <laughs> I'm just here for the feelings, boys. And, and what's the take-home message? That snapper. That's the take-home message. Get the icky. Sammy. Woo! Sammy, mate. Beauty. What is going on here? Good little snaps. Crunch reel. <laughs> the crunch reel, the crunch reel. Less crunch when there's a fish on there, I reckon. Less crunch, more munch. Less crunch, more munch. Yeah, I'm at the Where's the net? Oh! oh! Pull. Pull oh! hooks. Oh! No! That's large i do not want to see what this is big hey. bit of big bit of seaweed <laughs> please pull hooks on this thing i'd love to turn out it's meter pink oh it's uh it's a fish oh, yeah. oh yeah banjo Sammy, oh, mate well done it's a male i'll say that much with the males yeah these are vital for their ecosystem so we just make sure we pump the air through it get the air back in it they lose a lot of air when we come from this sort of depth 18, anything from 13 to 18 meters, they lose a lot. Like, they'll, um, their, their bladders will actually blow up. So oh, I'll just yeah. pop this bladder. Yeah, that's and, a problem with these banjo sharks, eh? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> we're just gonna release it now when it's ready. I can feel it kicking. I can feel it kicking. We're just gonna release it now. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's having a dig. I'm on. 21, 21. Yeah, yeah. Oh, doubles. I reckon that. Couple of skippy have made it. an appearance. <laughs> oh, a little, oh, it's like little snaps. Oh no, oh, oh, on the placky. Look at that. Plastic down the hatch. Look at the bend in this little PE1 stick. Awesome little fun, fun rod, the old Cloud 9 PE1. And you can buy this at Complete Angler for how much? Oh, I don't know, like 400 odd. They're a good rod. Worth it. Oh, worth it. Awesome fun, light tackle. Took this up to a. Uh, so the Mackies were catching goldens on it. This is a little smaller than a golden, but you know what? There's a fish. What size are you gonna Little one sixth or something. Oh. Give him a friendly hug. Yummy. Not bad, mate. Pop him back. Sammy! We meet again, mate. We meet again. I've right. just got a little skip bin plan, silly buggers, but Sammy. Yeah, to... Sammy's hooked up to something a little more substantial, I'm um, I'm here to say. You want to film? I'm gone. It's weird when it's so shallow. Because they're like, um, yeah. The reef's like, yeah, so you're good, mate. It's definitely a pinky, it's doing keep the lunges. An, keep an eye on this other rod as well, right? Yeah, could go, could go. Has it got the nods? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Might need to be on that hand, Tom. Yeah. Oh. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, might as well, yeah. It's definitely a pinky, it might be legal. That's what we're hoping. Be, definitely legal. Oh, he's calling it. Yeah. Legal, oh. illegal wouldn't take drag from this one, I reckon. Maybe watch that rod. Yeah. It's giving me a bit of what for, mate. Yeah, he's fighting all the way up. You love to see it. Oh, we, we see him, he's a snapper. That's a snapper. I feel the grinding. Nice pinky, mate. 
Oh, that's just a classic. Yes, yeah, the classic. That is a classic pinky. Oh, no. Oh. What happened? Oh, oh you oh, killed your reel. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was close. What was that? I thought you just... You, gotta, you can't let go now. No, I know. Scoop from the head. Yeah, you got him. Sorry, that was terrible for me. Good net. Got him, mate. What right. About Carefully he doesn't flip forwards. If he flips forwards, he's going out of the net. <laughs> Thanks, mate. He's in. What was that? Number for me? three. Love the little snaps. Little Tucker, the Metro Special. Make sure, make sure we hold him out so it looks bigger. <laughs> There's the head. Down in the tail. There's the tail. In, in terms of, so we're talking about the scale of what looks good. And this is an ugly snapper. What? You're kidding? You that look, looks stand beautiful. Stand back a bit, maybe look at the screen. That looks beautiful, mate. Does it, how's the colour on it? Pretty good. Uh, Pretty good, mate. There's nothing wrong with that. That's just a you're classic getting, you're Metro a zero pinky. For the head. You're getting a zero for the head. Like no, nah, mate. The head's the head's just sleek. Beautiful head. The head, that's, mate. That's, that's pace, mate. This thing's built for pace. Yeah. That's why I didn't go so hard. <laughs> yep. Beautiful. All right. We'll show you how to icky jimmy some of these fish, and yep. we do recommend you bleed them afterwards as well. Yep. Get that blood out of flesh. But uh, Sammy, mate, well done. Cheers. This is uh, yeah. The wife wouldn't let me home without food. If you got a pinky like this one. Like oh, this one here. This is a good pinky. You just kind of roll your finger behind the gills here and you get around to the back of the head and there's like a soft spot right there. You get your icky jimmy or your knife and you go bang. See how it's, see that kick there? Yeah, that's it. stumps. Just got to twist around, make sure you get... Oh, that's it. See him all shivering down there? That's his brain there. Stumpy. Sound there love. you go. Love. And then, to bleed him... So, let me let me guess, this is a Sammy Hitsky special. Nah, this is just me going, how about it? And then twisting around and then going under the uh, under the gill there, straight down. Just cut down till about there. And that fish can bleed out in the, in the little slurry there with all his mates. Don't believe a word they say. Yeah, yeah, it's all lies. It's all lies, mate. It's all lies. Mr. Headley, hooked up. Deadly Headley. Yeah, boy. Deadly Headley. Big fish deadly? <laughs> if it's deadly, it's deadly. <laughs> oh, Skippy ran through some line. Oh, it's this line. Ah, uh, you got you cooked yourself. It's good, Skippy. But you just cooked yourself there. They call him the Skippy. It actually got little snapper vibes, eh? Hey? <laughs> it's got it's a little snapper. This line down there just sucks. It's definitely a pinky. It's just no, little. It's bigger than you think it is. Nice brim, mate. Do you no, brim? Hey, mate, that'd be legal in Albany. Yeah, mate, we're not in Albany. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Legal in oh. <laughs> I was so scared there for a sec. This is the next generation of fishermen. Little pink brim. Just going back. Well done, mate. <clears throat> Another fiddler, eh? Right? Like Poor Jackson. Nah. Oh. oh, yeah. I shouldn't have let it turn. Can you grab this rod? Yeah, hold on. There's something about young Sammy. And a Sunday morning. Very Ray like. Oh, I feel like yeah. Catching a little Ray on the day of the Lord. <laughs> oh, I'm bowing up. This sucks. If they could call it the Ray of the Lord. Oh, oh no. No, no, no. I can see it. What is that? Shark? I don't know. You can see in the boat now. Let's just relax, mate. So, like, how good, like, how good is that really? Nah, just... The new Twin Towers so, 6000. Yeah. Nice. Gotta get on that. You gotta get around the Twin Towers. Yeah, big smoothie. Bring him my way and I'll try and knife close to those hooks. Oh! Don't lose him. Drag on too bad. Don't lose him. Get him in. Oh, oh, it's a deadly headly on the plastic. Pretty deadly. Is it size or what? No, no, just under. But it is on the plastic. Well, this Look at the colours in it. Closer than your mouth, I don't know. Is that my GK? Yeah, it's my plastic. Yeah. <laughs> <It's out. laughs> this thing is being annoying. Hold tight. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know how to hold them? Like, like, four times, yeah. yeah. You know how to hold them, mate? Nice. Alright. Size? 
Oh, it's 50. I thought think. it might be. Yeah, I thought it might be. No, we can't keep it. Why not? Because uh, they shrink. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the worst performance I've ever seen. <laughs> Jay, can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> he's gotten the fish, he's always broken his rod tip. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's, he's gotten spiked twice. <laughs> Rods <laughs> come out, <laughs> and he's got hooks in the <laughs> ass. You guys look warm, mate. <laughs> can we talk about the, uh, the hooks in your ass as well? <laughs> <laughs> Fish kind of died off at around nine o'clock. Winners, yeah. winners win, mate. Winners yeah, win. but three pinkies. Can't go play, eh?